What's up everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. And today I'm gonna to show you three of my top used tips that you can use to improve your speed ramps. Tip number one is adding sound design. Instead of just letting a speed ramp occur, add some additional sound effects to it. Take this example from the Polar Pro VND video I edited. Here it is without sound effects. And then here it is with sound effects. All I did was add two layers of sound design, which exaggerates the defender case being put onto the filter. The same can be shown with the next segment showing the haptic feedback. To emphasize each stop in the VND, I speed ramped it to the beat of the song and changed the scale to zoom in when the VND was turned. I then added a clicking sound effect and slowed it down to amplify the haptic feedback. Tip number two is speed ramping to change the pace. An easy way to change the pace of your video is by speed ramping at the start or mid sections of a clip. I often do this with real estate edits to bring the viewer into the house or introduce new rooms to grab the viewer's attention further. To do this right when shooting, you should always keep a mental note of the shots that work well with a speed ramp. So if there's a long entrance or a hallway, I can film that entire movement and visually take note of my start and end points. Some other ways is ramping on the beat of the song. I do this as an alternative to cutting on the beat. I find in some cases, if you have a really epic cinematic song, ramping like this can add another level of intensity and excitement to your video, but sometimes if you run into using this too much and it's overused, in my eyes will make the video you're creating not as engaging, but more of an entertainment type of video than something that really shares a story and evokes a real purpose. Number three is a short and easy one, and that is making your speed ramps ultra smooth. So you can do this by nesting your clips. So for example, if you have a clip where you have speed ramped, you can nest it by right clicking on it and hitting nest. So essentially what you're doing here is merging any effects that you had on that layer into a fresh new clip. So once done so, you can add the warp stabilization onto that clip and it will smoothen out any jitters that you may have. When doing this, sometimes we'll run into problems where the clip will have sort of like a jello type effect to it. So to reduce this, you can try changing the stabilization amount to values between like one and 10. From there, your video clip should look much cleaner. Remember to speed ramp with a purpose. Don't just do it because it looks cool, which the majority of the internet does. You should always be able to explain the why to almost every edit that you make while creating a video. If you guys are interested in my video editing build that I recently put out uh, on my YouTube channel, go check it out right here. It's a pretty dope video. Spent a lot of time on it, and I dive into what parts are necessary when it comes to a video editing build. Thanks guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. My name is Trevor, and I'll see you guys in the next one.